So, as you may notice up here on the screen that I am, in fact, sharing, um, big news uh, uh, last week in, in our space was Intune Service Release 2405 uh, came out near the end of the week. Um, a number of things that we're seeing from 2405 that uh, I know myself, Johan, and the community are pretty excited about. Um, so some additional Mac OS settings catalog stuff, though Johan and I are focused on, on the Windows side of things. I, I do want to point out, uh, always nice when we see these Mac OS improvements for our friends that are um, uh, managing Macs in their environment. So good stuff there. We're seeing more Mac stuff show up in the settings catalog. Uh, that's, that's a great thing. Uh, a couple of improvements on the Windows side of things. Um, this improvement is pretty nice. End user access to BitLocker recovery keys for enrolled Windows, Windows devices. Uh, so end users can now uh, view their BitLocker recovery key when they need it uh, from the company portal website. Um, so anything that we can do, I think, for self-service um, is easy. Self-service, I should say, um, is, in a, is an improvement for our user experience. So I'm happy to see that. Um, we continue to get some new reports, um, native reports within Intune. So there's a new version of the hardware attestation report. Um, I can show you what that looks like real quick, though. On my end, most of my devices are uh, VMs, so we're not going to see a ton. Uh, if we look at the hardware attestation report here, you'll see basically what is going to populate here for a given physical device is, uh, as long as we're using device health attestation, we'll see uh, BitLocker status, secure boot status, virtualization-based security, all these sorts of things built right into this report. So this looks like this is going to be a nice report. Um, haven't had a chance to play around with this in a production environment yet uh, because it's uh, very new, uh, but something to take a look at for sure. Uh, this is another one that is uh, showing up that I like, uh, monitor device delete actions. So there are some improvements um, here. If we go to our devices and then monitor and device actions. You'll see I just have a couple here in my environment at the moment where I tried last week to launch remote help uh, on a particular client, wasn't configured uh, properly for remote help, so we see the status failed. But you'll see additional information here now, like device deletions, um, something to keep track of, especially in a production environment. So nice improvement there. Uh, we're also seeing the feature update policy in Intune. Up to this point has basically just been a required update and you determine the uh, essentially when the update is available and the deadline for that rollout. Uh, we now have the ability to set these feature updates uh, to optional. Though I did see um, earlier this week that some users uh, or some admins were setting this policy up as optional, um, but the, the update was still coming down as required. Did you happen to see any status updates on that, Johan? Did not, but I, I did see the same posts. Okay. I, I so haven't gonna... tried it out yet in, in my lab, but that might be something to watch out for. Same here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've seen more than one person uh, uh, have that experience, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Uh, but this is a feature we're going to keep an eye out on. Um, it's pretty interesting, I think. Um, last but not least, on 2405, uh, the Defender for Endpoint Security Baseline in Intune, the default baseline, has now been updated to use the Settings Catalog, and has been updated to version 24H1. This security baseline hadn't seen an update since late 2021, I believe. It's been a little while. Just uh, around the corner, yeah. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, happy to see that update now. Um, I haven't. Uh, I I have the update created or the the new security baseline created, uh, but I haven't done the comparisons yet to see what exactly has changed. Um, so. Hopefully, uh, with a few moments' time over the next week, I'll be able to talk a little bit about that uh, more next week. Um, but that was the 2405 release.